What's up people, this is Bharat here. Welcome back to yet another video. I'm super stoked to talk about uh, the topic for this video, which is basically a poll question that I asked very recently and a lot of you guys voted for this question. So the topic for this video is what should you choose as a beginner mobile app developer? Should you choose Flutter as a framework or should you choose Kiwi as a framework? Uh, so that's what we're going to be discussing about in this video. So let's get this video started straight away. Thanks again for tuning in guys. I just want to quickly say that I'm coming up with a very simple 30 day python free course on linkedin so if you are interested just go follow me out on linkedin you might definitely feel it very very useful all right so the first part of this video i want to define who i'm going to consider as basically the beginner programming uh, programmers so for me the beginner programmers are somebody with little to no experience with any kind of programming so those are going to be the target audience for this video so if you're somebody who's just learning or just beginning to write code and you want to jump into mobile app as a as a technology i would highly recommend you guys continue watching this video or else if you're somebody who has experience in some other field of it basically like cyber security or devops or cloud support or things like that where you have written very less programming and you want to understand how the mobile app development area works i would highly recommend you guys to go check out this complete video the first category that i've written here is the based on the programming experience now i said that programming experiences we have very little to no experience but uh, what also the experience here counts is that basically you're from some other programming domain you've already worked in some domain and you're coming to mobile app development as a maybe a change in domain or you just want to explore this domain so if you're somebody with very little to no experience meaning that you're touching the programming languages for the first time you're understanding how coding works how do you go and uh, recommend you guys go check out the python as a programming language now python as a programming language is a very very vast programming language it takes a lot of learning curve but if you want to check out mobile app development as an area only you just learn the basics of python and you jump into learning kiwi as a framework so these two are very powerful in itself and helps you understand the entire mobile app uh, area in just probably three to four months of time so this is for completely newbies no programming experience they're jumping into mobile app now let's say that you have some 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 other domain you already worked with some other domain and you want to understand how mobile de development works now i would recommend instead of checking python out i would highly recommend you guys to go check flutter out because let's say you have some experience of five to ten years in some other domain and you want to learn something very quick to make a change in um, change in your domain or you want to just explore this very very quick if that is your use case just check flutter out as a framework because flutter is based on this programming language called dart written by google flutter is also a programming framework which is a UI toolkit written by Google. So these are going to be having extremely good support for you to learn these things quickly. And also it also also call as a rapid prototyping framework uh, because it's going to give you guys that a speed of how you can create and learn mobile app development. So unless you want to invest so much amount of time and based on your programming experience, I would say Kiwi, Flutter, uh, sorry, Kiwi and Python for uh, complete newbies and flutter and dart for maybe a little bit of experienced people in some other domain jumping to the second category i've written here it's to build rapid prototypes a lot of times people reach out to me and ask that i have a project coming up in the next 10 days i have a project coming up in the next 15 days i want to choose a framework i want to choose a language and get done with it what should i choose now in this case again i'm going to be very very frank flutter will be my top pick so we have something coming up in the next 10 days to complete and you don't have any time to learn or understand the com complexities of mobile app development just choose flutter eyes closed because it's coming up with a lot of boilerplate code and all of your applications that you're seeing right now right most of these ui tools are already inbuilt on flutter it's just going to take probably five to ten lines of code so if you are somebody who wants to build a rapid prototype applications and so you still have very less little experience of writing code i would highly recommend you guys to go check flutter out in this segment all right time for the third segment now let's say that you are somebody who wants to build for multiple hardwares this is also another frequently asked use case who people ask me that uh, i don't want to just build for mobile alone i want to build also for desktop i also want to build for web and things like that are always going to be there now i'm just choosing these two different hardwares only i'm choosing mobile as a hardware i'm choosing desktop as hardware so if that is going to be a use case let's say that you also have very little experience and you want to build a same application for both uh, the desktop as well as your mobile 
I would highly recommend you guys to go check out Kiwi because Kiwi again has a very little bit edge over Flutter because Flutter for desktop is still in beta. It is not yet released up by the time I'm recording this video and also this is going to take few more months to get it released to the stable framework. Uh, so I would highly recommend you guys to use the Kiwi as a programming uh, framework which is based on the Python language. So once you complete or understand the entirety of Kiwi, you can build faster applications for both mobile as well as a desktop and it will make your life so much easier again let me give a simple disclaimer here kiwi if you want to understand and write kiwi you cannot do something in less than 15 days 20 days it is going to take a very some amount of curve of understanding the python as a programming language only after you do that you will be able to build faster applications with kiwi but once you are comfortable with python it should take you not more than one week to build a, even a complex application i can guarantee you for that I just want to give a shout out to here with to Gabriel Petier. I'm not sure if I'm uh, spelling his name out. So basically, this person is a, a core app developer or core Kiwi developer who commented on my previous video when I talked about my challenges with building Kiwi on a mobile application platform. So he was very kind enough to comment on this video and clear out a lot of doubts for a lot of people. Thanks so much to Gabriel here again. I would appreciate. I really appreciate people from core development teams commenting on videos and uh, you know marketing or maybe even helping out people out there in the community thanks again let's go to the next segment all right obvious obvious segment here the learning curves people ask me how can I, how fast can i learn flutter how fast can i learn kiwi now, i'm going to be very frank here that the learning curve for kiwi md is also dependent on learning of your python so python is going to be the language that you need to learn and understand what are classes what are functions how you de define variables what are different scopes available and things like this so there are going to be a different different uh there is definitely going to be a learning curve associated with Python. Only, only after you understand the basics of Python, you can understand how Kiwi works on a GUI platform. So I would say that if you are understanding, if you want to pick out something with a very good learning curve, but once you understand the learning curve, you have a lot of applications for Python. Then I would say that juice Kiwi, you spend about two to three months understanding Python, playing along, along with uh, the Kiwi as a framework, you will be very, very good in understanding the entirety of mobile app development. Now, however, let's say that you're very hard pressed for time. You want to learn something faster. You want to build applications. You want you have a, you have something coming up in the next one month of time. Then I would highly recommend you guys to go check out Flutter as a framework. Now, Flutter is dependent on the Dart as a programming language. But one thing that I very, very quickly notice is that uh, you don't have to know the entirety of Dart to understand how Flutter works. Flutter is a simple UI toolkit. Uh, you will be able to understand the basics, how the UI works and all of those things with just the Flutter as a framework itself. You don't need to know the how entirety of Dart and you don't need to know how everything inside Dart works. That's how good uh, the framework itself is. So if that is the, going to be your case, hard press for time, then just go with Flutter. Now moving to the last segment for us with this video, which is what should I, I as a beginner exactly choose? Just give me the full verdict, right? That's what your guys are asking. Now I'm going to be giving out this full verdict here and it's completely my opinion. So if your newer resolution is to start coding, you want to learn, understand different things and you have about six to eight months of your time in your hand. Just eyes closed, go with uh, Python as a language and Kiwi as a framework for mobile app development. Now, a lot of people would obviously be very angry with me asking why I'm not saying Flutter and things like that. Well, I, I really appreciate Flutter as a very simple to use fast prototyping framework. But as you understand, there's, there's, there has to be a lot of applications outside the mobile app development alone. Now, I highly, highly rate Python as a very, very strong programming language. You Once you understand that as a, that as a programming language, you not only use it for mobile, you can use it for desktop, you can use it for system building, you can use it for application development. So I would highly recommend for any new beginners watching this video, if you have six to eight months of time in your hand, just go with Python as a language and understand Kiwi as a framework, start building your mobile applications, your life will be very, very easier. Now that is going to be my final verdict. Flutter, obviously, I would highly recommend if you're hard pressed for time, you have something fast coming up. You can even learn Flutter sometime down the line after you have completed Flutter, uh, Python Kiwi as well. And uh, no way I'm I just saying that Kiwi is better than Flutter, Kiwi is the best out of everything. I'm just targeting the beginners only here. There's obviously a lot of use cases where Flutter will obviously win. I've done that same video again. 
same video again is in the description check that out for experienced programmer my verdict is completely different so that's going to be my final verdict here now the final also thing that i wanted to talk about is a roadmap for beginners obviously who's watching this video you want to know what exactly should be the roadmap for me now let me give this roadmap this is again completely my opinion uh, so if you're somebody very very new into programming and you want to choose something and you want to build on mobile app, app development just choose python as a programming language do a simple course you can follow me on linkedin for my 30 day course again it's a very free simple course just follow that and once you understand the basics of python strongly you move forward and understand kiwi as a uh, kiwi as a library so this is going to take about two to three months of your time in during this th two to three months of your time, you build applications, you understand how Kiwi works, you understand everything associated with Kiwi. Once you're done with that, let's move on further and understand how the native applications also work, like things associated with uh, the life cycle of an application, how does the native Android OS work, and how does a native iOS OS work, and things like that. So once you've done this, it's going to take about three to four months of your time. And proceeding after that, you start building applications, you building applications for the Play Store, for, for the App Store, and you're very very comfortable using kiwi as a framework now you already have a very strong understanding of python and you also have good understanding of kiwi if you want to move further if you want to delve deeper you can then choose flutter as a toolkit and understand how flutter works this is going to be a rounded up experience for you i'm not saying just learn one technology alone always make sure that you have an open mind always invest yourself into learning something rather than just doing it for the purpose of a resume or purpose of a certificate so that will obviously uh, open up a lot of different areas for you and highly appreciate all of you guys watching till this end of this video and remember just one thing i've written obviously i wanted to say it again remember just one thing where you start doesn't matter uh, what you learn obviously matters so doesn't matter where you want to start right now you can choose even any language you want to learn and then build upon whatever your interest is and you learn as you go forward and that's going to be the best form of learning as far as programming languages are concerned so hope this video is informative and helpful as well and if you like this video you know what to do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for a lot more content on python programming flutter things like that everything is ha has space for us in this uh, channel so let me meet you in the next video until then Bharat, peace out have super